Welcome back guys to the mystical mountains in North Vietnam. I have been living with a Hmong tribe family for the last few days and today we're going to be showing you guys a typical day in the life of someone who lives here. So we're going to be following Kang who I've been living with, uh, Kang's dad who is a typical farmer and showing you guys how he works. We're going to meet the buffalo, maybe ride the buffalo. The Hmong people have lived in Southeast Asia for thousands of years, China, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. There's millions of them and they are known for their self-sufficient lifestyle, living in the mountains and their unique traditions. They speak a completely different language. So let's go on with this video showing you guys what a typical life is like here. As you can see, there's no view today. Okay. Time yet? Bye bye. We're going to work. Okay, ready Kang? So what what are you carrying? Uh the special tool. Okay, nice. To uh, plow and uh harrow of the rice field. Okay, and this is your father? Yeah, my father. Uh, Chao An. Oh, he doesn't speak he doesn't speak Vietnamese, does he? No. Okay. <laughs> well, that's my Vietnamese out the window. Oh well. Ooh, <laughs> we spot a buffalo. <laughs> so this is my uh, mode of transport for the day. Is that correct? Uh oh. Alright. I can have you with your hat and your oh, bottle thank you. if you like. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, easy for you to farm it. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have a name? Does he have a name? Uh, buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo name uh, is a Nyung. 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 <laughs> it's uh, he or she? Uh, he. Okay. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and he, he, he's friendly? Very friendly. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> he's so big. Yeah. So like, like this you can ride. But like that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's slipping. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... um. It reminds me of like yeah, an yeah, elephant yeah. skin. Pardon? It's like an elephant skin. Yeah. Like very. Wow, 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 wow. You must be doing this. Wow. Oh, yeah? <laughs> this, <laughs> you like that? I like that. <laughs> That's how I you get close. Now, uh, friendly. <laughs> oh, wow. So. Then maybe he'll. Yeah, yeah, we're going to show you. So. Alright. Yeah, it's like really dry skin. Yeah. Gets lots of mud. <laughs> And uh, so you like, how does he wash and stuff? Does after, he wash? After we after wash him. After you will see. How okay, is, nice. How is. Okay. So, should I jump on? Jump up. I'm, I'm getting on. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Here wow, goes wow. nothing. Wow, wow, wow. Are you sure this is safe? Kang's just playing with the, with the wow, wow. buttock area to keep him happy. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> There's no saddle. So this is really quite hard, actually. Yeah, I've literally, I think I've rode, rode a, a horse once in my life. So we've gone from one horse to a buffalo. Well, that's how you do it. So the plan is to head to the field where we're gonna um, plow some of the fields the old fashioned way. Sometimes they use machines now, and then we're going to cultivate some of the some of the fields and basically follow um, Kang's dad. <laughs> this is incredible! Wow, he's so well behaved. He's a good boy. This is amazing. <laughs> I feel like I'm riding an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when he was little. <laughs> so I was researching about the Hmong people. There's actually 15 million Hmong people worldwide. Actually, a lot live in France, USA now. So they, they've, uh, yeah, they've moved around. But um, they're from originally, I believe, from China or the area of China. And um, they haven't really had much access to the outside world because they've lived in such mountainous areas. So this is in the in the 21st century. 
they're kind of like a unique and new uh, culture that not many people knew about. Now you can see the famous rice fields of Mukang Jang. Yes, this is beautiful. Oh, they tap that. So, like uh, one buffalo like this uh, can eat around uh, 50 kilograms. 50 kilograms? Grass. Really? Yeah, so very. Ah, so you have to keep collecting the grass? Yeah. Uh, so, every day we need to cut the buffalo food, the grass, yeah. to buffalo. So, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. Who, who does that? Your mum? Yeah. Mm. The old people, they were okay because of they used to. But the young people, they don't like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Okay, three, yeah. okay. go! Ah. Woo! <laughs> oh, there we go. It's like a little gym workout. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm hitting people as I go along. There we go. Oh, wow. So we've got the tools to help cultivate the land and we're very close now five minutes away see the buffaloes taking ahead these are the rice rice terraces whoa here we go so we got our man I've already forgotten his name I'm so bad with names he's um this is special made grass just for the buffaloes and because he's He's tired of transporting me around. He's very hungry, so he is uh, eating a lot of grass. They eat so much grass, obviously you can tell. That's literally all they eat and do it all day. And then uh, this is the area we're gonna be doing. And we got, the dad is just clearing the way, getting rid of all the rubbish. He's already done all this. He just starts working without anyone asking. Just gets on with it. So we've got to basically dig up and clean all of this area. Yeah. Nice. So first, he's cleaned all of this. He's working his way around. <laughs> you've got to make sure the whole field is clean. And he's working so quickly. He's done this in like maybe 20 minutes. So hard working. He's also made a little um, drainage system here opened up the drainage system so there's water now coming here and all the way down here so basically this is going to get flooded which is what he wants for the rice to be able to grow and we got our man over here <laughs> scratching his head it's quite satisfying very good job <laughs> Just a little bit. Not all? Yeah, not not all. A little bit. Just, just this bit. Wow, well, very fast. <laughs> Could you just explain a little bit like the process? So you flood the field and then plow. Yeah. And then just harrow. Harrow. Yeah. And then you just plant the seeds? Is that and it? And then uh, and then we take uh, the baby baby uh, rice before we we make a some terrace field like this, mm -hmm. and we scatter the seed. Yeah. And then when the rice grow up like this, we take one time again okay. out, and we bring to share plant again. And how long does this take? Around uh, three months. Three months. Yeah. Okay. He's so muddy. Shoo shot. There we go. Whoa. Oh my god. So I'm learning the directions and the commands. Sta is go. Wa is stop. Because I'm going to be doing this in a minute. Oh, he's pulling me. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
This is really awesome to, yeah. to see it because when I did it last time it was like not really proper. Wow, it's so super flooded here. We're nearly done, we've just got the last bit to go. And uh, so this is the system of draining. So this is coming from all the way up here, the mountains. Yeah. Nice. Fresh water? Yeah. I can drink. really? Yeah. Nice. And now you can see all the water from down there is coming down and it's flooding this area here. Really interesting. Absolutely fascinating. Okay, step two. Yeah. We have successfully flooded the area. Now we're gonna harrow. I'll oh. see the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grass yeah. will under the land. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how he does it. Okay. Can when you want to stop? Ball. Ball. <laughs> you want to sure. go? So. Okay, it sounds the same. You just said the same word over and over. No, no. <laughs> so not ready? Okay. Shoot. So. Shoot. You lift this longer, longer string. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot. There we go guys, we have pretty much finished. So this is fully ready to plant the rice. Unfortunately we're not going to be doing the rice today because um, the field is not ready there's other fields that have been planted seeds so they don't want to grow all the rice at the same time but we're going to go and see a different field and see how they plant the other um the other rice me and kang are now exploring the area the village area so we've come to like 10 minutes outside of the village to show you guys them planting the seeds ciao chi Ciao, Em. Wow. Can I see? Wow. So you can see how flooded the area is. And then she just basically grabs a bunch and then ties it up. And then um, they re... So this, this isn't finished rice. This is only maybe 20% finished, I, I believe. You're going to have to fact check me on that. But they... What I've... What I've been told is that they replant these in a different area to give it more space. And and what I find fascinating about this is the drainage system. It's like each level drains perfectly so they all get equal amount of water. Okay, this is where it's going to get a little bit slippy. I do not want to fall in right now. Wow. Who knew that this was rice? Not me. So the rice is obviously just in the at the bottom there, but it's amazing. And they've done this all today. How many grains of rice can you get from this one? How many seeds? You yeah, mean? how many seeds? Oh, this like uh, uh, 50. 50? Yeah, 50 okay, seeds. Nice. And this is like, you know, you plant this again. Yeah. So this is maybe like, 20% done. Uh, 20%? Like you plant it again and then you plant again yeah, or, or just right. one more time? You Many times? Many times. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Like uh, before, uh, like uh, we plow a harrow like uh, this morning. 
and then uh, we go to the market we buy the seed yeah yeah uh, and then we bring to share to scatter on yeah. this rice field and then when grow up like this okay we'll take out okay can i help i help <laughs> okay i watch you do it wow very nice <laughs> <laughs> they, I love their dress. It's so colorful. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll tell ask her. Say I will watch, and then I will, I will, I will watch her do it, and then I will try. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. 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 Follow him, follow oh, this him. is easy. <laughs> She's quite fast though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's very good. She's a master. I don't know how I'm gonna ever compete with this. Okay. They're all laughing at me. Yeah. You look her and you do follow like her. Like this? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> look her, look her. Okay. Look her. Oh wow. <laughs> They're so fast. Yeah. <laughs> so you get the mud off. <laughs> I don't know if these are even usable. I feel like I'm going to ruin their crops. You can what? You can look. Uh, sh she does. She's so quick. Yeah. This is this is mine and this is hers. This yeah. Is how good I am. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not easy job. No. They're doing this all day. Yeah. From like 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. sometimes. And uh, yeah, it just goes to show how bloody hard these people work. And they don't complain about not being happy or problems, they just get on with it. Because if they don't get on with it, then they don't survive. So it's really, it's really, you gotta have a lot of respect for these people. Ooh, and I'm getting her wet. Well, I I some good <laughs> 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 they She said, uh, yeah, like uh, uh, the woman, like uh, they do this job. Yeah. And the uh, husband, yeah. the, the man, they do machine job. Or buffalo, yeah, uh, okay. plow, yeah. Nice. What about who does the, the cooking? Pardon? The cooking. Cooking? Yeah. For dinner. Food. Yeah. Who does the food? Cooks the food. Who cooks the food? Yeah. For uh, like uh, they eat. Yeah. What you mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they yeah, they they all more men not there. Oh, Do they get takeaway? <laughs> uh, like uh, when they finish this job. And then when they back to the home around 7 p.m., yeah. they will cook by themselves. No way. Yeah, and then they eat there, and then uh, after around 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., they go to bed. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So that's why they are now time to thinking about how to earn money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, to take care of themselves. And now make up. <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. No makeup, no, no, uh, no problems in society. Yeah. Just get on with work. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I think I'm going to be joining the Hamong tribe, guys. I'm quitting YouTube, and I'm just going to be a rice worker. It's amazing. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> this is for you. My gift for you. <laughs> All right. Have you done this before? I did before. When you were young? Yeah, but for now, enough for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite nice and the feet is very soft. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hello. Uh, how are you? 
<laughs> I've come to look. Are you uh, collecting the rice? They're doing the same thing. Oh well, we'll investigate anyway. Can I have a look? Here we go. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 20, 20 of them working all in one field. And apparently they they all work together because if they work on their own fields, it's a bit boring. So they, you know, they get to make jokes, laugh at the, the foreigners coming into their fields and uh, have a good time. How are you? Good. <laughs> Ah, they are planting. Okay, so they they grab the individual thing and just place it down into the water. <laughs> very good work, girls. You're working very hard. <laughs> <laughs> they're the, the happiest girls I've met. Wow. Anyone need some help? Well, they've done the whole field. Amazing. So, if I hadn't explained that very well, I'll just repeat it one more time. So, once they've collected, we just saw over there, they've collected all the rice. They then replant it in this area to give it more space. You can see they're way more spread out. And so, apparently, that's better. Oh, they that Very beautiful. Okay, Tambia. Did they understand that? No. Tambia, bye bye. <laughs> Still laughing at me. You're following me. <laughs> All right. Successful. Come on. Come on, Ann. <laughs> Tambia. Good luck on your Viet Cong mission. Uh, they will now tell stories of when the white man came. There will be a myth in the in this local village. The day the, the white man came and terrorized the, the rice farmers. And all the young kids will say, I don't believe you, it didn't happen. And they'll say, no, he did come. Did someone say delicious steamed duck? I certainly did. Today we are going to be catching uh, the duck and eating it with this Hmong Vietnamese family that I've been living with. They told me it's going to be graphic, but it's going to be interesting. And I said, that sounds like something that I want to film. So we're going to find him um, and he's going to meet his maker today. Um, there's two ducks that they have. And so we're going to go find them now. They're, they're, they're domesticated, so it's not going to be hard to catch them. All right, it's time for the duck to meet its maker. <laughs> Where is he? No. I saw the two ducks around the front. Is it those two? Yeah. Ah. In this? Yeah, I heard them talking about escaping. They were talking to each other saying, We could... oh, go, go, go. We haven't got much time left. Yeah, this. Ah, here we go. Can I try and catch him? Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh my yeah, god. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. What's his name? Oh my god. <laughs> this is as fresh as it's gonna get. Oh, he's really trying to get loose. Did you give him a name? No name. <laughs> no name. Because <laughs> if you give him a name, maybe you feel like you don't want to kill him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what we are eating. Yeah. The dog and duck, chicken, no name. Oh really? Yeah. Then, but uh, Mickey, we have a name, the dog. For the for the dog. Yeah. You're not going to kill the dog, are you? No kill. Okay. okay. Because this mummy we use for protecting the house. Ah oh, okay. So no no kill. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I will choose where is he to kill. Oh really? Yeah yeah. I thought you were giving him a haircut. He's <laughs> <laughs> going for the fade on the top. Now's not the time to be making those jokes. Wipe the blood out yep. and then uh, the duck will die. Okay. And then we use the boil water to um, this, take the hair out. Okay. Come <laughs> on. 
This is graphic. They cut the head and then they get all the blood out so it basically dies. Um, I don't know too much about the best way to do it but this is documenting how they do it in Vietnam so it's interesting. His friend just saw him. He was like, "Buddy, what happened to you?" His friend, don't don't let his friend see him. Ah, no problem. I'm <laughs> friends. Are they they not friends? No. Basically, boil the duck or put it in hot water yeah. to basically make the feathers easy to remove because obviously there's a lot of feathers. Good job, good job. <laughs> All right, they're taking it in turns because it's such a long process. Probably been 20 minutes of. I have one duck for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you are preparing the vegetables? Yeah. Zhao? Yeah. Nice. There's a pumpkin leaf. This is grown in the garden? Yeah. Nice. The pumpkin leaf. It's very good on rainy season. What's the name? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. Pumpkin. the leaf after pumpkin. Ah, yeah. nice. We will have pumpkin fruits later. Nice. But now it's only the leaf. All right. So now we boil it. Pardon? Yeah. Now we boil it. Yeah, we boil uh, some. Yeah, one pot. And one pot we fry. Ah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Make a different. Yeah, different types. Yeah. Di I saw like uh, when we bought the gasoline from the gas station. Yeah. You say, the food the gas. Yeah. But you didn't like uh, can shake. Oh really? I got like, shake uh, his hand. Yeah. That food the gas. That food the gas. Okay, I'll learn the next time. I'll learn. Yeah. For you. Oh yeah. <laughs> For you later. Wow. Oh yeah, let's get the testicles. <laughs> He wants some pork, so he wants to eat. Okay. He wants a little bit. So we've got the ginger. They they seem to love ginger. They have ginger with everything. So we're cooking the ginger, cutting out very fine. And yeah, look, all of that ginger is being cut up. This is the minced meat that he's minced up. Minced duck. We've got some mango. Mango. <laughs> Dessert and a heart. Oh, yeah. so the, uh, the heart that we've been frying. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Can we come in the light? Yeah, you eat this. Oh my god. Here we go. Heart. Fried heart. Tastes good. Oh yeah. A little bit chewy. Not like the most amazing thing I've ever had, but I guess it's probably quite healthy. Okay, now we're swapping out the steamed duck. That's a little bit of salt for the seasoning. This is the boiled duck. Oh yeah. So it's been on there for like maybe 20 minutes, so I'm interested to see how tender that's gonna be. But they've got everything in there. They've got testicles. <laughs> wow. Is it normal for you, for like the younger, yeah. to, cook, to cook the meal? Or is it just like anyone, anyone who, who's yeah. free? But, but uh, usually the young people. They do it? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. And of course, the final ingredient is the chili sauce. They love spicy things here. No matter where you are, ever in Vietnam, they love spice. And most places in Asia, actually. All right. The feast is about to begin. <laughs> the 
This is the fried duck. It's got oil, it's got ginger, a bit of seasoning. All right, we have an absolute feast on our hands. This looks delicious. We've got the soups, pumpkin soup, um, vegetable soup. We've got the steamed duck, the fried duck. This is more vegetables and of course the kerm, the rice. There's also the intestines with the blood. I'll try a little bit of that as much as I don't want to. The mint, everything, oh, a little bit of chili there. This looks incredible. And, ooh. Rice wine. Come on. Timorachi. <laughs> Timorachi. Thank you for having me. Enjoy oh. your ducks. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> I have never had duck this fresh in my life. Or um, any. This is as fresh as it gets. Yeah. Okay. Very fresh. Very yeah. quality. Very, very good quality. Uh, I'll have the Tesco first, actually. Happy, Just get it out, out of the way. Okay. Happy, oh, we got the blood. <laughs> the blood. I'm calling this like a blood salad. Okay. Whatever. Okay. It's just. <laughs> very, very soft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. It was good, but it's just the thought of it. The thought of it, but it's very, it was very good actually. So we have the intestines mixed up and some of the blood. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I've spilled some of it. Okay. Wow. I will use this. No, it's really nice actually with yeah. the the mint. Yeah. The. You eat the liver? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. If we're going for the testicles, I'm gonna have everything now. Yeah. Okay. We've got the liver. This looks interesting. Looks like the heart. Mm. Oh wow. This is a really interesting texture. <laughs> right, soft so thank you to Kang the legend and if you want to check out his homestay look in the in the description below and you can you can come and stay here if you want to and and kill a duck <laughs> <laughs> oh wow okay it's feeding time for the pigs and for the buffalo Kang's mum has just um, picked these and now she's gonna cut them up and then the pigs will have this. Oh, there we go. The pigs, the pigs are eating well tonight. They know it's coming as well. Oh, he's striding up and down. He's ready. Include corn. Corn. Yeah, corn powder. Okay. And vegetable. Wow. They. Lucky uh, pigs. Swiss potato. Oh, uh, someone's cheese. hungry. Uh oh. Is this this one's nearly ready to uh, to get the get the? Yeah. Nearly. This uh, next year. Really? Yeah. Twenty twenty four. We will prepare for Happy okay. New Year. Oh really? Yeah. You're the Happy New Year pig. He yeah, has no yeah. idea. What... There we go. Finally. Mm -hmm. Ready. As you can tell, the people here are very hard working, very kind. I'm ready to get outside my comfort zone and I'll see you in the next video.